Hey you guys, this is Ricky from Ricky Repair Shop and I want to do a quick video on how to disable the touchscreen. Now there's a lot of little reasons why people want to disable the touchscreen. Um, one of the main reasons why is because they get these bubbles like this, what we call like the bubble of death, I don't know. Um, and, um, and it causes you to not be able to do a lot of stuff um, if you have a touchscreen. Um, most of the times that happens with a cracked screen. If your screen isn't cracked, sometimes you can just try cleaning off the screen. Um, and sometimes that actually fixes the problem. But if that's not the case, um, or if you just want to disable the touchscreen because you don't like the touchscreen, uh, you, you know, for whatever reason, um, this would actually work for you. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to um, to device manager. Um, there's the easiest way to get to device manager. You can press Windows and X, um, the Windows key and X, and then you'll see device manager here. Or you can simply type in device manager down here. I'll do that. And it comes up right there. Once you get into inside device manager, what you want to do is you want to go in here to human interface device uh, devices, and in here you'll see the touch screen. And what you want to do is you want to right click and disable. Um, it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to disable it? Go ahead and click yes. And now the touch screen is off. And even if you restart the computer and everything, it'll actually still be off. Um, and if you ever, for whatever reason, you want to re-enable it, it's the same process. And go to device manager. And you'll already see the arrow down. The arrow down means it's disabled. You can right click and enable it. So if you have issues uh, with your touch screen, you can also try that. All right, thank you.